Welcome. The following video will show you how to print this butterfly graphic that comes from Great Dane Graphics. I picked this graphic because it has a very fine light white design on the back behind the actual butterfly and then also you can see some of the gray here. These are kind of difficult to see because we're working with it on a transparent layer but we'll actually put a colored background behind it and then show you the process of how to go print it using the Brother GT782 driver. Before we begin, there's a couple of things that I like to have set up in my Photoshop. I like to have the color window and the layer window visible. So to do this, go ahead and click on the window menu up at the top and come down and just click color. And you'll notice that our colors have come over on this side. And then I want to do the same for our layers window. And you'll see that there's a couple of different layers in here and then the main artwork as well. What I'm going to want to do is go ahead and create a background layer on all of this. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I start off my graphic in an RGB mode. To do this, you want to go ahead and click on the image menu up at the top and then go down to mode and on the right hand side you'll see where it says RGB color. If it's in CMYK or any other color just go ahead and switch it to RGB. This would just allow for a larger color gamut compared to printing in CMYK. Once you have that, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a background color. In this case we're going to go ahead and print this graphic using a black background because we're going to use a black t-shirt. So what we'll do start off with by going to layer over to new and then new layer and you can either keep it the same name or you can give it your own name. I'm just going to call it black. Now you notice the black showed up in our layers window over here. What I want to do is I want to move this all the way down to the bottom so I'll left click down onto it and drag it to the bottom and release it. Now you'll see that our black shows up at the bottom. Once we have that, what we can do is go to our color tab up at the top Oops. and we can change our colors. Black is RBG values are 0, 0, 0. So all we can do is just go through here and change all these to 0 and you'll notice that our foreground color now is black. Then all we'll have to do is go up to the edit button at the top and go down to fill. In the fill window it'll give us use the contents and we'll you choose the foreground color. Just go ahead and click OK. Now you'll see that we have a black background and now you can see all of this intricate light designs and everything else that we have set up here. Once we have that I prefer to go ahead and just merge all of these layers. If you want though, I recommend you just saving this if you plan on adjusting any of the text coming down at the bottom or any other logos in these separate layers, go ahead and saving this as a PSD file before merging the layers. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and merge our layers. So we'll go layer and go down to merge visible. And now it's all been put onto one layer on this side over here. Okay, now that we've merged, and you can look over here and see that we only have one layer here. Now what we need to do is we need to address sending this file to the Brother GT782 driver. Before we can do that though, we have to alter our white. The Brother 782 driver views anything that is 255, 255, 255, which would be pure white, as transparent. So we need to alter that color to 254, 254, 254. So you can tell if anything's 100% white by just clicking on the eyedropper, finding the part of the design that looks pure white, like the Brother logo, click on it, and then come over to our color. And you'll notice it's 255, 255, and 255. So we need to alter that and make it 254, 254, 254. So the first thing we'll do is we'll actually change this so we can have our foreground color set to 254, 254, 254. Now that we have that, 
we want to go ahead and select our magic wand tool. Come over and highlight. Once we highlight that, you'll notice that it'll pick up all of the white in our design that's pure white. You'll notice it's going to start to do the stuff around the Great Dane Graphics logo here. There is also some pure white up in this area as well of the design on top of the design. So we've gone ahead and, and highlighted that pure white. Now what we'll do is we'll use the fill command again. So we'll click on the edit menu, go down the fill, and we're going to fill using our foreground color, which again is 254, 254, 254, and hit OK. Now what we'll do is we will go back, grab our color picker, once we get rid of our dancing ants, and click on the brother logo. And now you'll notice up at the top it'll say 254, 254, and 254. So and with this point in time we're now ready to go ahead and print our file. In some cases you want to make sure that your file size is the same size as your graphic. If you're going to put it onto a full thing you can view that by going to image and then down to canvas size and seeing that it's 12 by 16. The other thing that you can also look at is the resolution by clicking on the image and going down to image size. And you notice in this case the resolution is 200. Anywhere between 150 to 200 is what most direct garment printers print at. For paper printing they typically print at 300 dpi but because we're printing onto a piece of fabric that is interwoven fibers it will not be able to hold that high level of resolution. So that's why we're going to go ahead and print this at 200. So what we'll do is we'll go up to the top, click on File, and go down to Print. This is going to be our print window. First thing we'll do is choose our printer. In this case, I'm going to choose the Brother GT782 file output. And then we can go ahead and click on our page setup for us to go ahead and view our different options. First thing you want to look at is putting your platen size down 14 by 16 unless you're using the oversized 16 by 18 or another size plat. You want to go ahead and choose color with white since we're printing this onto a black garment. And in this case we're going to uncheck the box that says print with black ink because we're actually going to use the color of the garment which is black in this case to substitute that. I'll also show you where you can add a custom color and we'll do that to help with our better transition. Then we'll come down to our white volumes. We have both a mask and a highlight. On the mask most people uh, will probably prefer to print somewhere around a mask of a three. The higher you go up the more ink you use. And if there is any solid white lettering or anything like that, recommend at least going with a highlight one, which will actually add a second pass of white ink to the printer when it prints. Now Brother has a ARP file that will actually show you the differences for all of these settings used here. And they can print it out onto one t-shirt so you can see exactly the differences of when you move up the scale of what it looks like. The color processing tab down here is for saturation and contrast. Uh, saturation is just going to really bring up the brightness of it. And then contrast changes the difference between the light colors and the darker colors. If you want, you can also go into the advanced tab. And the advanced tab is where you can use a white mask for both the color white where you can choose your specific color. So if we want to turn around and say we want to make a color that is tr that is in our design transparent, we'll check that box. And then there is a drop down box. And it'll list a bunch of different colors that are listed here. If you don't see the color, it's not listed here. It's not that big of a deal. You can just click on the custom color. Come down to where it says define colors. And then you can choose your RGB values. In this case, since ours is 000 for black, we'll just go ahead, click that to add custom color, highlight it on that side, and hit OK. And now you'll notice it's custom 000. With the tolerances, 
each graphic can be a little bit different. In this case, what I'll typically do is I'll jump to tolerance up to 50. This will help with the transitioning of it from the black background into the color designs. And then underneath it for the choke slider, the average choke for a GT782 printer is going to be somewhere around 2. might vary from one printer to another, so you might want to go ahead and uh, experiment with that. And then the CMYK color inks, this is just our standard volume you can print at. Most people print somewhere between an 8 to a 10. Also will make a difference in what graphic you're printing on. In this case, we're not going to do any double printing or yellow black printing. And we're going to print bi-directional instead of unidirectional. So that's going to go ahead and set up our file to go ahead and print. Once we have it set up, I'm just going to go ahead and hit print and send it to the printer. What I did is I went ahead and used the Brother 782 file output. What this is going to do is this is going to create a ARP file and it allows us to use this preview window to preview it before we actually send it to the printer. So the first thing that will pop up is it will give us our design and some information about it. In this case you can see what the CMYK ink level is for this design what the white amount of ink is used for that design as well. And it'll be your background colors on black. You can change it here if you would like. You can also click the show white button and now it'll preview exactly where the white ink is being put down. This is important to notice that since we're using the black background and we're not printing black ink in the areas of the design where there would be black, it's actually not printing any white ink uncheck that as well. If you want you can go ahead and just save this design. You can save it wherever you would like. In this case I'm just going to save it to my desktop. If I want to go ahead and print the ARP file that I just saved I just have to double click on the file icon and it would bring up a window allow me to preview the window again gives me the information all I'd have to do is just click send to the GT printer and it would send the information over to the printer and the green button on the printer would begin to flash if you have any additional questions please feel free to contact your brother distributor thank you